Right folks, now this video is about putting insulation into our conservatory roof. Um, although this is now, the conservatory roof is complete, this is bit as at the beginning of the video. Um, this project didn't go as we meant, did it June? No. I started in some ways of doing it, I thought I was right, and as I went on, I learned it was wrong. Uh, June corrected me, <laughs> as she always does, and... Told you to calm down. Calm down, I was throwing me toys about, and that was it. Um, it's one of those things where you have to watch the... I'm not making you watch it. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. It's no fucking skin off my nose. I am not particularly bothered. I don't ask and beg people to watch my videos. But if you are doing a, a conservatory insulation of the roof, um, watch this all the way through because I will leave our errors in or my errors in and hopefully you will learn from my errors because it doesn't go to plan. But we turn it around, don't we? Just keep going until Just you get keep it right. going until you get it right. Be prepared to take the bloody thing down and start again. Um, no doubt there'll be people out there going, you've done this wrong, you've done that wrong. Yeah, I know I've done it wrong and I know I've learned, but I've learned from it. And we've got it right. And we're proud of this conservatory uh, insulation now, aren't we, sweetheart? We've we done are, it. Yeah. We are happy and it's made a difference. So, uh, get yourself a big mug of fucking tea or get yourself a couple of cans and sit back and enjoy watching me be a complete numpty and June slapping me around the head and bringing me back down to earth because when I do get upset, I do get upset, but it's done. So enjoy. Right folks, welcome to our conservatory. There's June behind me as I spin around. Um, this is a project that we're taking on uh, where I am going to convert the roof. You're not going to convert it at all. You're going to insulate it. I'm going to convert the roof into an insulation into roof. Into a camper van. <laughs> yeah, into a camper van. Uh, sponsored by Sterling Shorts with over 30 years in the business. Uh, no, this one is not sponsored by Sterling. Um, it's not sponsored by anybody. It's not sponsored by anybody but our own pocket. Uh, so what I'm going to do, folks, is... The thing with conservatories... Um, in this country is that they're not really used that much they're a great idea i used to fit them right um, my dad fitted this and i helped him a little bit not a lot um and the, they're either too hot or they're too cold i when i bought this had a special insulated uh, roof that was supposed to keep the cold out the warm in the warm in the cold out bollocks was it um but in the winter, it's basically just a... It's cold. It's cold. It's, cold. it's damp. It's, it's not damp, is it, though, is it? It's not, it it's not like we get mould coming up. Be, but what we do is we keep the heater on all year round on low, don't we? Yeah, got the oh, washer in the winter, here. sorry. Um, yeah, we've got the heater on, you know, pretty much all year keep round. It dry. If you didn't have that on, it would be damp. It would... <coughs> sorry, I've just had a Vitti's digestive biscuit. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to... I'm going to do the uh, insulation. Uh, I'm going to put some buttons up. I'm going to put some of that silver foil in that we had in the camper van. And then I've got some cladding that we've also used in the camper van. Um, so. Yeah, they, they do recommend using that super quilt, don't they? But yeah. We've got stuff left over from the camper van. We've got so left, yeah. Use that. We're going to use that. And if I need any more, I'll just buy a smaller roll. Uh, so, what it is, I'm going to batter, I'm going to wipe it all down first, folks. Because uh, every. At the end of the summer, I always clean it down. Um, we're going to batten it, ain't we, lover? We are batten it. Staple the. We're going to staple some of the uh, silver foil um, insulation. And then silver clean, and then batten, on top, batten the on top of that. What you've got to do. You've got to have an air gap between yes. the insulation. Sorry, between the roof, the insulation, and then the cladding. Yeah, and um, then we're going to put the uh, cladding up. Um, and we, I, did, we did blank those uh, windows, yeah. didn't we? We did actually. Yeah, we we put. Um, the UPVC panelling from doors, we put that in because the glass is good, but it was... It wasn't stopping the glare. It wasn't, that yeah. Stopped the glare. And it has a bit up to a point, but not massively. No, it has done a job as such. Uh, so what I'm going to do, folks, is we're going to do that and then I'm going to video it. I've not done this before, obviously, because if I had, 
I won't be doing this. But um, I'm just going to. It's easily achievable for a fucking idiot like me. So, yeah. Right, so what's going to happen is now, um, I've ordered some of the uh, cladding. That should be coming Thursday. Today is Monday. Um, I've got some wood in the van. Um, I've got some of the uh, quilt, the, uh, the roll of silver foil stuff. And uh, we'll see what cracks on. So, I'll see you in a second. Right, folks, uh, June's at work, so I am going to start cleaning this, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave the bucket down here, it's a lot easier. All I'm going to do, folks, is just give it a bit of a clean, nothing major. Fortunately, with me being a quite a tall person, as well as fat, um, I can reach. Um, no doubt you don't want to see me with my guts hanging out underneath my t-shirt while I wipe this. So I'll crack on and I'll get to you in a bit. Uh, right folks, so what I've done is I've cleaned that down. I've not gone to town on it. I've just given it a wipe down, um, get rid of any spiders, cobwebs, whatever that uh, may appear. Now... I've been to b and Q. I've put the bloody thing down, I can't see you now. There you go. Uh, I've been to b and Q and I've got a packet of battening wood. Uh, there it is. Oh, fucking hell, I can't see. There it is. Interior cladding battening. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to fit that up to there uh fix it up with a screw and uh, and then i will put the uh silver foil um insulation on there as well let me just tune that up so i can see myself uh then then what i'll do is i'll put that up fix the stuff up but i'll do it and then i'll, I'll show you what i'm going to do um i keep saying erm a lot don't i yeah all right i'll see you in a second Right, folks, um, I've put the first baton up. Um, there it is. Now, I've not done that one, because what I'm going to show you is how I've countersunk the hole for the screw head, because I don't want any... Uh, I don't want any... Uh, not letting it sit straight on the, on the wood. So, basically, what I've done is I've um, done that one, but I've left a little... I've countersunk it. There you go. Easy done, isn't it? Council kit. Happy days. Right, June's home. I've got to go. Right, we've just had a make-do dinner, haven't we, June? We have, because we haven't got anything in. Nothing in. So, up here, a little tip. I don't know if it's a little tip or not, um, but it's something I learnt when we were doing the van. Uh, instead of getting somebody to hold the wood, instead of getting June to hold my wood on the uh, the ceiling of the roof of the uh, conservatory. Uh, I stuck it up with a piece of black tape. This, uh, where's it gone? Oh, fuck knows where it's gone. God, you can never find anything. What the bloody hell have I done with it? Oh, jeez, I fucking wept. It is, it is that you do, you just put stuff down and then you just don't know where it is. Oh, dog's bowl, because that helps him, because he, a lank, lanky lurcher. <sighs> Better if you put the food up there for him. Oh, it's here, look. Uh, it's that gorilla tape. Can you see it? Anyway. It's gorilla tape. Uh, so it holds it up there while you drill and screw. 
uh, it's just easier to do. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put finish fix in that one up and then I'm going to put some of the silver foil across and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, so, first bit of battening's up. Uh, the first bit of uh, foil, Insulation. what's it called? Insulation something sheet. Insulation shit sheet. Uh, and now I'm going to put another piece up there. And as you can see, there's the gap up there to let the air circulate. Is that what you've got to yeah, do, June? Gap. You need an air gap. So uh, I'm going to put the other one up, measure that uh, for another 65 inches. And uh, we'll put that one up. Hey, Junie, what do you reckon so far, Junie? Brilliant. Brilliant. Happy days. So there we have it. Uh, we have the uh, first lot of battening up and the first lot of uh, foil insulation. Uh, I've taken the uh, the fancy piece at the end. I can't remember what it's fucking called. Uh, at the end of the conservatory, I've taken that down so I can get in and up and under. Uh, but that's it for tonight. Now I should be able to crack on tomorrow. Uh, with the rest of this, get all this up, then uh, the cladding's coming Thursday, and uh, I think I'm going to have to get another roll, well we'll have to get another roll of that, but uh, apart from that, <sighs> look at that, looks like a space shuttle, only this one's not going to come down. Laters. Right folks, um, oh, bloody flies in here. I'm going to have to get the electric uh, fly swatter out. Um, yes. Uh, right, what I've done then folks, uh, where I left it yesterday, I've got that up, yeah? Uh, I've bought some silver tape, I'm going to stick it all around the, the joints of the, uh, the, the, the silver foil. I've put these up, right. But what has happened is, I'm thinking, I'm actually, what I'm doing, I'm making more work for myself. I'm making more work for myself. And I don't want to do work more work for myself. Um, I was putting that up, drilling it, and then putting the screw in. Because what I was doing, I was trying to go through the actual metal as well. I don't really think I need to go through the metal because the, the cladding that I'm putting up is quite lightweight. If he's hanging up in the van on a few staples that me and my dad did, this will also hang up as well. So what I've decided to do, folks, is stop drilling into the, the pla into the frame. I'm actually going to just screw into the frame. Who's that? Don't know. Um, and I'm going to just go straight through into the frame. Now, what I was using, I was using these uh, bad boys, right? Can you see them? Because I don't know. Right, I was using them. Um, they are a... Sorry. They are a three... They're a four uh, mil. And the uh, length is 40 mil. Well, what I'm going to do... I'm using these now. The 3.5 and the 30 mil. Because all I've got to do is go through the wood and into the frame. Just so enough so it bites. Um, so what I've done today as well is because my old JCB drill um, that has got to be over 20 years old has died. It's gone. Uh, it's gone to the drill heaven in the sky. So what I've done I've been to B&Q and bought myself one of these. Well I haven't bought one of these. I've bought one of them as well. I got it in a pack, um, 80 quid. Uh, to buy an actual drill, a decent drill, would have been around 60 quid or so. So I thought, sod it, I need one because we have got plans to be doing other stuff. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick you up here. 
there like that on top of that shelf. Get me thingy. And go for it. Obviously I've used little bits of black tape to uh, There you go. There's no need to drill the hole as well. Now you lot are all expecting me. And that's got it. There we go. Let me take down. And that ain't going anywhere, cocker. It's a gain I'm down here. It's again one of those things that you're learning as you're going along. I just you just have to step back and think about it. You see, I'm not completely fucking useless i can think of things just need to uh let me try and figure it out myself so if you do that if you've learned from that uh if you already do that let me know put the comments down below i'm gonna crack on good morning folks how are we all uh day is it wednesday you're here um wednesday june's not at work so this is the problem well this is what i'm now doing is putting the battening up on top of the battening uh so then i can fix the cladding but this is the problems that you face, right? This is the kind of problems, this is how look goes, right? So I've put the first one up, I put the screws in so I can just put them straight in. Uh, I went to put that one in. What are the chances of that? For the visually impaired, I've pre-drilled the hole of the batten in wood. Uh, I've offered the wood up and we had some uh, nails, masonry nails nailed into the wall because we used to have dingle dangles off them, didn't we, for Christmas? Yes. We used yes. to have some bells. Live. No, live. Well, we've had every fucking thing up there over the past 22 years that we've lived here. And um, where the screw is, the nail is sticking out. So I can't get the screw. It's absolutely unfucking believable how things like that happen. <sighs> right, getting on with it. Uh, warm in it, Jim. No, I'm all right. I'm not doing anything. I'm just holding the camera. You're just holding me rod. Uh, so what we're doing, folks, is I'm just battening the rest of this up. Um, yeah, this is to create the second air gap, isn't it? It is, Junie, baby, yes. It's, uh... So what I do, folks, um, I've drilled. Now, I'm not really sure if this is the right thing to do or not. Do you like my new drills? Absolutely fabulous from uh, B&Q. Uh, I pre-drilled the holes and put the screws in. Now what I've done, I've done, this is remarkable. Mark had the issue up there with the screw and the nail. Uh, I've actually hit the screw that I've already put up on the first lot of battening. So what I've done is I've drilled two holes, just in case, for the sake of 10 seconds outside, can we see that? I don't know. So, now if I had a bit of screw underneath there, I'd have just took it out and put it in that one. It just makes life a Saves time, doesn't it, getting up and down the ladder. Yeah. The ladder's not ideal though, is it? It ain't not... with a fat bastard like me on it. I'm surprised it's taking my weight. If health and safety were here, they would have me on a harness. Well, in fact, it's health and safety wouldn't have let me go this far. I'd have had to have got a sky jack in to go three foot up in the air. Are, you, are you knocking my step no, ladders? No, Those step ladders have seen me through about 40 years of DIY. Yeah, 40 years, that's about eight blokes. 
No, it's not. Uh, yeah. But do you know what? None of them could decorate. No, none of them. Mm. And this one can't, and this one won't. Because do you know why, June? Because you find fault with every fucking thing they do. You can't cut in, you can't do that, you can't do this. I may as well do it myself, do you? You're only doing that because I can't reach it. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's what I've been doing, folks. Double drill the holes. I've done it a couple, it's only twice, but it's such a fucking annoying thing to do. Okay, Junie? Yeah. Are you happy with that little bit of videoing? Oh, I think so. Which button do I press? Any button you like. Sweetheart. Which one is it? No, the red one. The red the one. The red one. Right, folks, as you can see, it's pretty dark in here now because you can't see me. Now, I'm snipping in here. Hopefully, if I've got this right, I've snipped into the video. Uh, what has happened is uh, we've gone to offer the uh, holding piece. Holding piece. June's prompted me there. Uh, we've gone to, well, what we've done, we've gone to put up the first piece of cladding. Uh, we had the trouble of that it wouldn't stick up. My idea was that we was going to staple it up and I was going to no nails it and I was going to put a couple of pins in the bottom to hold it up. Uh, but that didn't really work, did it? No, it was too heavy. So, so what you need is a holding piece like that. Yeah, you need a holding piece like that. You would attach it to that. You would attach it up to here. Uh, I've nailed mine. Yes, yeah, so I've nailed it on every piece of... Uh, and then you just slot. And then the idea is, you just slot that in there. And then staple And then on. staple that bit up there. And hopefully, uh, that should have it all up there. Uh, it's a bit dark in here, isn't it? I can't see the camera light, but it will be. It'll be there, you'll see it. Right, so what we're gonna do now, folks, um, I'm going for a pee. Uh, are you having a wee, June? Oh well, yeah. Yeah, and um, then we're going to come down and fix this back up. Uh, we've cut the angles, we've uh, struggled to get the angle right, but we have done it. Um, I'll, I'll show you how I did it in a bit, all right? But uh, see you in a second. Uh, so that is the first piece up. Um, we stapled it uh, there. Uh, what we're also going to do is we're just going to put a bit of... Uh, strong uh, duct tape, duct tape. Uh, we're gonna, oh June saying it like duct tape so that I sound like a ventriloquist. Uh, I've got some Gorilla Tape. Uh, so what I'll do is, we'll put a bit off, just... Yeah, what we're finding is the, the staples are actually punching through the plastic, yeah. aren't we? Yeah, the staple guns that we've got, uh, I don't know how good this stuff is to be fair but um yeah so what i'm going to do is you just stick a bit of masking tape up there to give it a bit more support okay. masking tape duct tape fucking whatever gorilla tape whatever it is uh so we'll get on with that tomorrow or whenever this you see it morning right folks yesterday well the other day we got that first bit up. Um, the next day we got this bit up. And yesterday we've got this bit up. We just wanted to get the tracking. Uh, that's a piece of tape, it's a roll of tape. Uh, we wanted to put the tracking guide thing at the bottom so we could get the. Uh, yeah, just a tip there if you do it yourself, make sure you get all your tracking in first before yeah. you put any of the. Put all this in. tracking stuff in first and then it just seems to go easier don't it lover yeah i think because we put one piece up but i think we should have put all of the tracking up first yeah we just because it makes it hard to cut it around the corners and yeah stuff, it's it? it's just one of them things again where you're learning now also what i did do uh i took all this off the these buttons. these buttons up there and i moved them down to the bottom so they weren't pushed up against this fascia thing, but they were just against it. So there was like a half a mil gap or something. It just made it easier then to fix this. What we did is where we've stapled that there, we've stapled 
the tracking guide thing there as well. Um, just, and just to note that we've put some of that reinforced tape where we're driving the staples in because it's ripping through the panelling, isn't it? Yeah, because up here it went through some of the uh, panelling. Uh, and when we put a few up here, it went through, as you can see, folks, there, it went through it and it, it brittle. It's, although it does the job, it's nice and cheap. Um, it, it's not the strongest stuff in the world. Also, the uh, stapler I've got is quite powerful, um, but the stapler that June's got isn't that powerful. So it's what do we do? Uh, we're stuck in the middle of you. That's a song, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, quite a lot of people do actually plasterboard it and then yeah. just tape over the seams and use um, jointing compound. Yeah, fucking fly. And then just got paint me on a it. Movie, they don't yeah. actually plaster it. They just. They just yeah. They just paint it and that's it. Um, but what I wanted to do this. I thought that once we've got it all sorted and set up, it would be quite easier. Now. What we did on this one, we fucked them out trying to get the angle right. Um, we offered it up and I drew a line and all that. And then June, being the brains of the outfit, she said, why don't we offer it up, don't offer it up, but offer the tape measure up and measure to the bottom point there and measure to the top point there. And uh, I don't think... It's a bad fit, to be fair. It's these are fairly, you know, as a I don't think you're gonna get much better for a numpte who eats burgers and talks shit for a living on YouTube. I think they're pretty good. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a a, a covering of some kind of trim, trim or whatever, so it hides all that up all the way up to the top. Well that seems to be what everybody else does. Yeah. And then Oh, up there, I'm going to see what happens, and we might put the uh, the what is it? A fucking yeah. crescent thing. Um, yeah, we might put that up, but I broke it, to, it and it's gone a bit. Looks like shit. So I think more than likely, I'm just going to try and bodge it up. But that will be something that I do when I get up there. Um, and then down the sides here, I'm going to put another trim just to hide everything off. Or I might just mastic it. I don't know. It all depends how we feel at the time. Well, we were advised to mastic it. Yeah, I was advised to mastic it. <sighs> we'll just see how it goes. Because when all said and done, it's a fucking conservatory. It's not a actual living room. It's not part of, it is part of the house, but it's not built as the house, is it? So, anyway, we're going to crack on and I'll see you in a... That. Uh, so, folks, we've uh, ended this day. Um, it's it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Uh, and uh, I've been and bought a bevel from Heaps in the village. Uh, that's helped um, because we were having trouble getting the angles right. And uh, I said, fuck it. Anyway, I've used it there. And that's it. We are going to put this one in, but we can't. June's got to go and take the dogs a walk. Uh, and it looks like it's going to... Oh, now it's bright sunshine. Well, for fuck's sake, it will... there's a cloud over there that looked a bit angry. Um, the cladding that we've used is okay, but it's not the best. Uh, we put this up and somehow there's a little fucking hole in it. I, we didn't see it until we put that one up. I can't be asked to cut it again. I just I just can't be fucking asked. Um, yeah, the cladding isn't the best, but it's it's all right. It will do the job that we need it to do. Uh, we've got to find a way of cutting the angles better. I might. Oh, well, there ain't no might about it. I've got to go and buy a new step ladder because that is not tall enough for reaching up there uh, and that's just what it is so uh yeah I'm, I'm quite happy with it um i wish i'd made a better job of the angles it's one of them things again isn't it folks so right 
join us tomorrow or whenever or join us in a second it's a second for you lot in it not even that and we'll go from there all right -o. right folks um this conservatory video uh let me get some light in here right uh this conservatory video um i stopped making it because uh it well it all went wrong um it, it all it all just went completely fucking wrong uh i had a nightmare to be fair um it was one of them things where i started it uh and i just wasn't really thinking about what i'd done um I thought it would be quite easy to just batten it up and just put it up, staple it and everything. It's not. It's not that simple. Um, it's, it's a bit like the camper van. I was completely clueless. Uh, so what happened with Hasb, what's happened is that we've got on with it and I've just stood here and I thought, do you know what? I'm quite proud of this. What me and Junior have done, I'm quite proud of it. I've got some shit on my glasses, I can't see you. Um, so I've decided to do the video again. I'm going to, I don't know how I'm going to edit this because I've made a complete balls up of it. I've took stuff down, I've put stuff back up. Uh, but what happened were, um, I, I, as you have seen from the video, I tried to match it all up and then I was going to actually just stick a piece of uh, arc trim over the joint. Um, I thought that's what was going to happen uh, and it didn't. So what we've done, we've actually got, uh, it's called a H strip, uh, so that you staple that up on there and then it slides in. Why I didn't do it in the first place, I do not know. I thought I was trying to be clever. Um, the other thing is, well here, this is what we've done so far. Right. The other thing is, is that I'm running out of um, cladding. Uh, that's what I've got left down there. Uh, what also happened is when I bought the cladding, uh, I tried to get it in the transit and I bent it. Uh, so there was a crease on it. And we were gonna put one piece up with the crease. We weren't bothered. We just wanna get the damn thing fucking done. Uh, but anyway, it was too short. It was a good two inches too short. So what we've done, uh, I've got the H bar strip and we've made a join in the middle of the conservatory. Do you know what? Yes, it doesn't look as good as that's gonna look, but I'll be fucked if I'm gonna go and pay out it over another 50 quid just to get uh, one straight piece. I would have loved it if they had sold me one single piece, but apparently they don't do it. Uh, so we've put this joint up here uh, and now I'm joining it all up uh, putting these last few bits in some of it doesn't fit the best I don't know whether that, I think that's probably down to the uh, the quality of the cladding um, it is good stuff but you need the space to work you need to be able to move about when it starts raining obviously you come inside and all that but so what I'm going to try and do then, folks, is explain a little bit more about what I've done. Well, I'm not really, am I? This is how it is. It's hard work. It's not hard work as a fucking doctor or a nurse or something. But it is, you've got to get the angles right. I'm using my trusty bevel. Um, measuring it up. I, I think basically what it is, folks, is what I'm trying to say is just be prepared to go along with it. When another quick tip, right? I bought this from B and Q. Don't get this; it's too fucking thin. If you're using this H system, right, you need the wood to be as wide as that, so you can staple both sides. Because all we were going to do is just go straight up there, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, staple it, right? It hasn't done the job. I also wish that I'd have used this. Uh, C joint or C section or whatever it is and put it up there as well so we could have actually slid the cladding into it 
Uh, unfortunately, we haven't. So what it is, is what it is. Uh, I am going to put some Arctriff down there, stick that up there. Uh, and then, I don't know what I'm going to do up there. That is going to be one of them things where suck it and see and hope it grows and comes to something. Uh, right, I want to crack on with this. These, <laughs> what another little trick is that as I get further up here, I'm going to take those couple of staples out there and make that loose. So that what I'm going to do is, is cut the piece that goes in there and then remove that out, put it back in and staple it from that side. I don't, because it's longer, the pieces at the top are longer, you can actually mess around with it. I don't know what I'm really trying to say folks as such. It's just really one of them things. I'd love to have another go at it and think about it properly. It's, it's, it's another one of those things where it's a learning curve. You go onto YouTube and there's so many people who have done different ways of doing it and it doesn't seem to match to your standard. But like I say, next time if I'm going to do it, I will use, get this H joint, get the wood as wide as that so you can staple it either side. That is too small. That is no use to anybody. It's a fucking waste of time. Ah. <sighs> Right, I'm going to crack on and get this done. Right, folks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it's took me all this, right, to work out how to cut an angle on here. No angle is the same. The way, well, it's not in my fucking conservatory. I don't know what the fuck I've done here. But, you can't seem to get... For a novice like me, you can't seem to get it right. There's always something wrong, something's out, something's whatever. I haven't got city and guilds like my dad, or any proper uh, ability to cut the perfect angle on here. Yeah, if it was, a, if it's a corner and a mitre of a in the skirting board, then yeah, I'd have a go and I'd get it right. But it's, it's done me at it. So what I've done, right, is this. I'm just eating a piece of chorizo pork pie from the co-op. Rather nothing kind of taste, to be fair. Um, so what I've done is I've got an off cut of this. Yeah. So I put that in there into the uh, get into the groove, in the words of Madonna. Right. Get into the groove. Put it there. So that's where it would meet. I then measured to that piece there right let me just move it over a little bit so right so m knock it in sorry folks you're a bit close there but right so i measured to there yeah that bit there so i measured from that is the length of that so that is 12 inches i then measured from there to there into the middle of there yeah I've got my pencil, I haven't got my pencil on me. So I measured to there. So that, to there, to there, is what I needed. So. Where can I put you? I'll tell you what, I'm going to stick you on my fucking work, mate. Look up there. And that's where I'll be. I'll be up here. So, that is already cut, yeah? So you slip it in the groove, you slide it into the position it needs to be, yeah? It takes a couple of times to... Right, so, feed that in there, and then you just ease in there give it a little and that's it it's in and I can't believe I've been struggling for most of this conservatory when all I had to do was measure from there to there to there and it gives you the fucking angle it's absolutely unbelievable it 
it's that easy to do. You just measure them three bits up there. It's one, it is, I, I always say this, it's one of them things as you're going along, you learn how to do it. But if you do that, get the off cut, put it in, measure from there, there, there. It's, 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 it's a piece of piss. <sighs> right, folks, we are continuing with the conservatory roof today. Uh, what I have done is I have fixed some wood up there for the, uh, panel <coughs> that I will be fixing up there as well. Uh, that piece of material up there is just up there to uh, add stability when I stick up the uh, piece of tre trim that I'm going to put down here and down here. Um, so it's there for a reason, it's not to, it's, it's more structural than cosmetic. Uh, so what I've done is I've cut a plank in heart into uh, six pits uh, and then fixed it on top of the other plank uh, and then I will fix this piece of wood that I will show you now or in a second uh, what I've done. Right, I've got to change the battery. Battery light's fucking flashing. So this is the said piece of wood that I was just on about. Um, it's just a piece of plywood. Just a piece of plywood where I have sprayed it with radiator paint now because i've sprayed it with radiator paint because i wanted it to uh there it is radiator paint you're gonna fucking focus in or what yeah how about that there right um because i wanted it to have some kind of shiny look I also wanted it to be, I thought it might be a little bit more hard wearing. Um, I know it's not going to get a lot up there, but it's going to be in temperatures. Uh, obviously, a conservatory is going to be hot, it's going to be cold. Um, so I've primed it and then I have uh, spread it with radiator paint. Now, what we've done here, folks, is uh, the trimming that we used um, for the to put the the, the uh, cladding in, the cladding slides into that groove. Um, we've gone round the edge to finish the wood off because one, I didn't really want that on show or trying to spray paint that. So what we've done, we've actually gone round it with the uh, the U section or the whatever it fucking is. So we've gone round there. I have used stick it sticks all. Uh, I used that what was left over from the van conversion uh, and I've fixed that um, now what I have done I've cut it like that my mitering is shit uh, that has got to stick a bit closer to that um, but anyway that's going to be up in the loft in the uh, roof of the uh, conservatory um, cut my edges with my Dremel if you haven't got a Dremel folks and you do all this kind of stuff you've got to get one it is one of the I wish we had one when me and my dad were fitting the windows um, it's absolutely fucking brilliant <sighs> watch them the other night fucking hell <sighs> so what I'm doing now then is I'm waiting for that to go off I will then fix it up with a couple of screws here 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 and here um, it's only plywood, it's not heavy, uh, and that should take the weight. It's just about doing the job and finishing off as you see fit to do. Um, there's not a lot. The thing is, you can go and buy pieces of plastic or uh, cladding to go in there, and it costs a fucking fortune. There is no need for it. Fortunately, I went to Juicen's, uh, and John at Juicen's uh, had a bit of scrap. So that was it. I also bought this piece here. Uh, but it's too big, it's too heavy. Look how thick it is. There's Adam. For the visually impaired, that was uh, an ant. Um, 
so that's what it is folks that'll go up you'll see the effects and the results in a bit uh, i'm just letting that stick all uh go off and then i'll put that up and fix it and then i'll put some trim up either side like i've said so I'll get you in a second uh so there we have the uh 60 mil trim up folks um i think i should have bought the 60 mil in the first place hey eh, june i think so too yeah just to cover whatever but there again june if if that last piece have would have fitted would have fitted i would have I'd have been all right with the 40. i think the best thing to do folks if you are doing this don't buy your trim until you're ready to buy your trim eh? yeah until you finish yeah because uh you don't quite know they do a, a 40 a 60 and a 90. um 90 would have looked just stupid up there it looked like a curbstone uh seth rollins um uh, but there you go a lot of a curb stomp uh right so let's get this last bit up then june i'll sit back and watch you do it sexy bum i'm not doing it oh she's not doing it right folks exclusive fern britain or fern cotton uh that was a plant um we have come to the end of the insulation of our conservatory we've finished it off uh june's sitting over there she don't want to be on the camera do you june no no just don't want to be on it i don't blame her. i think i won't be on it either i'll sit over here um right it's done this is it then folks uh you've seen most of it come through uh we've got the two final bits of trim up uh and the board up um and to be fair folks saying that saying we've done it on our own we haven't got the right equipment as such i got i had to buy some new drills then because my old drill were completely screwed it had got no energy in it whatsoever yeah. um i had to buy some ladders but i need ladders anyway i needed step ladders anyway because the old ones are um they're, they're knackered they can't keep taking my weight they're not going to last forever um it's cost us in all without the, the new drills and the step ladders it's cost us around 250 quid yeah which i don't think ain't that too bad it's ain't that too, ain't bad. That too bad i went into builder language um we've learned as we've gone along i'm going to try and edit the video so that the mistakes are in and it makes sense of what we've done wrong because we did put some we did put a fair bit of it up and then we took it all down again didn't we because yeah. it wasn't meeting or matching all the way through um so we took it down but once we took it down and then put it all back up again it just flew up didn't it yeah i've done yeah. the tips on how to cut the angles at the sides there um and it has made a difference yeah, I, think the only, I think the only thing i'd do differently is have when we've battened it out have wider battens not yes. thicker not yeah. deeper but wider just so wider battens um the one i actually did use for when when i did do the uh the new bit um it was i think it was something like five pound a length it's worth buying wider battening it's don't buy the stuff from b q that comes in the packets that i that you've seen it's it just doesn't do the job that is required on this yes it's lightweight yes it's easy to put up but it doesn't really you've not got much room you have haven't you? got room to work it, with it error was more or less on the corners when we were joining the corners up once yeah. you've got one piece stapled and there was nowhere to staple the second piece was no there? no uh, the the thing on that though junie baby is that up here perhaps you do need the the narrower piece to put in because if you've got a wider piece you you're going against yeah, but we didn't angle it into the corners, did no. we? Maybe we should have angled it into the corners as well. Yeah, it's... But I think we've done a really good job yeah. considering... Because we didn't really know what we were doing. No, we didn't know and what we were doing. it's not a lot on YouTube, is there? No, there isn't a lot on YouTube. So hopefully people will watch this and they will realise... Oh, damn it. I'm here. Uh, they will realise that it's it's another one of those things where you just go along... And you learn as you go along. It's also get you get all your your cladding delivered. Don't try and cram it in your van. Yeah. Um, because it does fold. 
it does bend. Yeah, because we've got a crease in one of them. Yeah, we've... It wasn't worth spending 50 quid on a new packet just for one. Yeah, one up there we've got a bit of a crease. I don't know if you can see it. I, there was, that's the only place it could go. Um, but that's because I put it in the van and it just bent. Well, the wind took it, didn't it? Yeah. It blew it. it well, what, it just went, it just bent. Um, so, uh, that's it, folks. We're happy with it. It is... It's made a hell of a difference it, though, isn't it? Because yeah. normally we wouldn't be able to sit in here, would we? No. Because it is, we sat in here with the door open. Yeah, because it has Insulate Britain sticking the cells to the floor, uh, sticking the cells to the road. There is no credit to you for this. This has got absolutely fuck all to do with you lot. I couldn't care less what you do. Um, but it has probably saved us a few quid on our energy bills. It's, it's, it's given us another room in the winter because most people's conservatories are not really fit for the winter time unless well, you've got it all. Honest, we didn't use it in the summer either. Cause no, it was too hot, it was too it was too hot, hot in the summer. Dry. You know, there was only a few months a year we could actually sit in here and be uncomfortable. Uh, be comfortable but um no we're happy with this we think um we're pleased with it we're proud of it it is worth having a go folks if you've got a conservatory and you find um a place that can do this cladding and you have got the excuse me i burped i've had fizzy water um if you've got the uh the balls to have a go you only need really basic DIY. Yeah, it's only basic. All you need is a, a decent little cordless drill, a decent little cordless screwdriver, um, and that's it. Just have a go. I don't think it's anything to be scared of, is it? No, we wish we'd done it sooner. Yeah, I wish I'd had a go sooner. Um, it was just something I wanted to do, and um, yeah. We've done it. We've done it. So it, it feels cleaner in here as well because you can't see all the dirt on the top. Yeah. Um, no. And the other thing is now I'm going to have to try and uh, put some lighting up because when I had the conservatory built, um, I didn't have any lighting put in. Um, well, we were talked out of it by your dad, weren't we? Really? Yeah. And in a way, he was right because we've been using these floor lamps and stuff. But now we'll, I'm going to go to IKEA. We're going to go and get some these fancy dancy walls where you have the wires on show and stuff obviously not naked wires we don't want to electrocute yourselves um but that's it so well done june mm. pat on the back for I you june held bits she's very good at holding bits of wood and things uh, there wasn't any wood there was there were the batten in oh yes yes and the archer in that but uh and the other like i said the other tank is can you don't buy everything all in one go. Buy your cladding uh, and your H-trip and your, your C-join or whatever it's fucking called and go along and then get everything else afterwards uh, because you don't really know where it's going to take you. Uh, right. hope you've enjoyed this DIY and with Junie Baby and the B BVM and the Twoodle. And uh, if you have a go at it, let us know how you get on. All right, folks. Laters.